right now we are working towards um, the rent relief program for uh, ESG COVID funds for up to 500,000. Um, we will be partnering, partnering with uh, Greater Harrisburg Tenants Union to create a streamline for applicants that are in need of assistance. Um, we also will be working with CCU uh, to, that is uh, Christian Churches United and the other name would be Health Ministries to help with allowing households to reserve further assistance in case management, how to um, follow up with uh, getting on track with paying their rent or um, how to budget their, their income. We also, um, our applicants will include rental assistance mortgage assistance, and essential utility service assist assistance. The one online one-time online application will be qualified for applicants of these services. Um, the uh, applicant process does look like uh, the landlord would have to do a W-9. You would have to um, provide lease agreement or current uh, and valid rent ledger to show the status of your rent being past due. Um, we, would we would also uh, built in an application to uh, show the utility assistance and we would just need a utility bill. Um, and then we would pay the utility um, invoice or bill to the utility company. Um, we also will cover back payments up to, uh, we would cover up to six months. So we could cover up to three months before January 21st, or let's say three months after, or six months going forward um, for anyone that is um, gonna be backed up in their rent or mortgage, also in utilities as well. Uh, the payments will be processed with uh, payments being directly sent to the landlord or to the utility company or um, mortgage company. Um, we do, we will pay up to $5,000 up, um, up in, I'm sorry, we will pay 5,000 in rent. Um, we, it will be a one time up to six months only. Um, if you would like further information, they would just have to contact DBHD housing at harrisburgpa.gov or they can call 717-255-6419. Uh, wow, thank you, Lily. Okay, so now we're talking about another program, this one called the Rental Relief Program. And as you just explained, Lily, this, this could be backward looking. So if you've gotten yourself in a hole in uh, uh, regards to your rent, you're, uh, you're behind, uh, as, as I think many businesses may, may very well be, this could be an opportunity to uh, use grant funding to help get you caught up. Um, uh, unlike the, uh, the previous program that we were describing uh, for which a business can apply directly, it sounds like uh, this requires cooperation with your, with your landlord. Um, if you're renting a space, uh, uh, perhaps it's the landlord that needs to apply rather than the business. Can you can you clarify that? Yes. So the, the it would have to be the resident who applies, but the landlord has to comply with uh, the guidelines of becoming a vendor of the city. So the 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 resident has to pretty much do the footwork, but the landlord has to um, send us in their W nine in order to be a vendor, and then we can pay them directly. Right, so the, so the money would go to the landlord as opposed to the, and, and it's, it's not just businesses here, we're talking about residents as well. So this is a, a, a broad-based program that could help a, a lot of people. So we need to get the, we need to get the word out. Let, you mentioned ESG, and I had previously talked about CDBG, or the Community Development Block Grant Funding. So this is another type of federal funding. Can you talk a little bit about ESG? And then also, uh, how much money are we going to be making available for, uh, for the rental relief? So ESG is Emergency Shelter Grant, um, and CV is for COVID. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to pay up to uh, 5000 5, per um, resident who would qualify, and we will have funding up to 500000 
Wow, five hundred thousand is a lot. Uh, that I mean, well, five thousand times a hundred, and suddenly you could you could be helping a hundred hundred people, hundred businesses, or more. Um, and uh, that uh, that is much needed and uh, welcome at this time. And since it is federal funding, it uh, it probably is similar to um, uh, the strict relatively strict requirements in terms of what needs to be provided. We've got to account for this money. Unlike the the program that we're partnering with Credit to minister, this is one that you will be administering yourself in the Department of Building and Housing. So um, I, you, you touched on some of this, but once again, who uh, who qualifies? What are, what are the requirements uh, for, for receiving this funding? So who qualifies is anyone that is backed up in the rent. Um, they have to, they do have to be a uh, city residents of Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to, you can owe, if you are on assi uh, assistant living and you have to pay a portion of your rent, that portion could be covered. So therefore, let's say that the person pays $200 and they're backed up since January to, to now, we would pay up to six months of the rent up to $5,000. So they would also need to provide a lease, uh, a, a driver's license or a Pennsylvania ID that shows that they're a city resident. They would also have to show um, any late fees that they receive from the landlord or a, a district justice uh, landlord tenant paperwork that shows that they're in jeopardy of losing their home. Well, that's uh, that's that's really important. And now now we're looking at over a million dollars is going to hit the street soon. Now, we talked about a December 1st uh, application opening for the partnership with uh, with Credic and the chamber. Uh, when are you looking at building and housing? When are you looking to make this uh, rental relief program assistance money available? So right now um, it's to be determined, but I'm looking at maybe the second week to third week in December. Um, but we are still trying to uh, iron out a couple, you know, wrinkles and um, try to get it set up. Like I said, the second or third week of December. Okay. So if you're a business watching this show at home or a resident, but if you're a business uh, watching our, our business show here on Black Friday and you want to take advantage of this, uh, apply first for the uh, for the for the chamber funding that we described. Yeah, a lot of the materials that you're going to get together and put together for that application, you can probably use again. Uh, when applying for um, for for the rental rental relief, and and Lily, um, that's wonderful. I know building housing has a few other things in the works.